where he got his nickname. Uh, what do you expect from him? He's going to need to win this one. It's a, it's a tough one, to be honest with you. I mean, he was uh, runner-up in the Europe round of, of the World Tour co-op uh, play last yeah. year. So, uh, again, he's been at kind of this top level before. Obviously, not as much experience on his side as, uh, as O'Neill on the other side. So, yeah. it's going to be tough. It, again, it comes down to whether or not you know we see the O'Neill that we saw yesterday. You know, whether or not he can keep those emotions in check. Uh, as we kick this one off, he will be again rocking home rows we saw yesterday. Uh, those course, two yeah. uh, strikers, I believe, the two front men. Running! Being, uh, <laughs> being the. Uh, An the anti pass! Players. Yeah, exactly. Those yeah, two these with, are the, the, with the height, maybe being spotted here by him. So we'll have to see if that uh, actually plays out in this match. Yeah, and then of course the Spaniard is going to go with Arsenal, like we've seen uh, used a lot in uh, PES 2018 as well, now in PES 2019 as well, and the Spaniard is no exception. And again, we've got Hobro on the ball for Eldridge, only the man from Amsterdam who uh, made his mark first in 2013. Of course, before that, already coming close in the Dutch leagues, playing from uh, 2010 onwards. But there we go, we've got some possession. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful move inside of the post and out. It's not going to go in just yet for Horka Chavez, but he has uh, threatened already in the first 10 minutes with a big chance. A good shot off the post. Yeah, it was off the post, but that's going to give him a little bit of confidence when you go up against someone who has the experience, the accolades on you. You want to try and start off as well as you can. That was a, a, a rattling shot there against the post. Now he has to make sure he doesn't concede from this attack because we've seen how dangerous O'Neill can be on the attack. Still with the ball here. Olsen through. Ooh. He still has a chance, but cleared away by Hawker, and I think that is the uh, the right play to do, and could maybe get a counter attack going, but it's uh, much better, honestly, than I expected from Hawker. I didn't expect a rollover, but he's the closer of the two teams so far. Yeah, definitely. And a small chance for a shot, maybe just now for Alvarez O'Neill, but he couldn't get it off. So we're going to see O'Neill working the ball around, waiting for the gap to open up, but it simply is not there. Well defended by Hawker. So far the Spaniard has had the bigger of the chances indeed, like you said, working it around towards Aubameyang right now in the center. We see, I think that's Maitland-Niles. Not quite sure. We've got Welbeck on the ball right now on the right side. And it might very well be Iwobi as well up front. Interesting setup, Aubameyang and Welbeck on the right side. Not sure if they're just out of position right now. time is in there somewhere as well. Hi. Ah, there we go. It's Mektia. And then headed onto the goalkeeper. Chat slaps it wide. We're going to see a corner for Horka. It's all the patience there from the world. Just waiting for Aubameyang with that speed and that strength just to get into that position to make that run ahead of him and then cross in and force the corner. But Aubameyang again being the point man for the offense here for us. Yeah, definitely. He has been key in so many fixtures today and yesterday as well. Corner towards the far post, way beyond it, maybe overhead it a little bit. So Eldridge can uh, easily collect that loose ball. He's just going to pump it upfield like we've seen so much yesterday. And it worked very, very well for them. Running is not going to be able to win that ball. And Danny Welbeck in possession right now for Hawker. Working his way around the midfield. Trying to work up an attack. Looking very solid so far. Maitland Niles on the ball now on the left side of the pitch. Room for a cross, but he's going to go for the low pass. Not going to work out too well for him. O'Neill picks it up and then he's going to work up his very own move, but loses the ball instantly in midfield. So far, he hasn't impressed like we've seen him do yesterday together with the uh, Indo brothers, Indo Jawa and Indominator. But let's hope that he can uh, show himself today. Of course, a draw would be enough for him to uh, be number one in the group. I think he will end on seven points. I'm not sure if uh, anyone can still catch up with them after that. We'll have to see what, what kind of changes he makes here because so far he hasn't Yeah, he's losing the battle in midfield, midfield right? He has, yeah, he has. He hasn't really been settling down. We spoke about it in the studio about the team that has the majority of the chances are, are more calm in midfield. We saw earlier uh, Hawker just waiting for Aubameyang to make that run. We're just waiting for that from O'Neill at the moment. Yeah. Still just trying to force those passes, but they're not quite on when there's an Armstrong man just covering it. It's going to allow, it's going to be a fight. Walker forward, he has a man over on the right side. Oh, wow. Oh, what a pass. Smacked over so close by the keeper. Play. Yeah, definitely. The Danish team must be a relief right now. Albert O'Neill, nonetheless. 
because this was a huge chance right here but right on to the goalkeeper by Aubameyang this time not on the score sheet not just yet at the very least who knows that still might happen Mkhitaryan is once again going to take the corner perhaps once again towards the second post as we've seen him do before this time it goes in the center of the box not going to be able to win the header duel but still has possession for the shortest of time because Eldridge O'Neill takes over the man from Amsterdam operational officer who has been playing since uh, this game was called Superstar Soccer on the Super Nintendo and of course playing tournaments since uh, about 8 to 10 years ago managed to make his mark in 2013 but also the last year he was at the World Finals and also in 2017 as well so a triple Dutch champion triple uh, best league world finalist can he do it again that's what he's playing for today he needs to grab a top two finish here in the Europe season one regional finals. Otherwise, he will still have a chance in season two, perhaps, if he qualifies. But still, we want to get it, uh, get it over with, right? Oh wow! What a move by Hobro! It's Eldridge O'Neill playing it on to the left, not quite catching the defense off guard. Hawker is holding on for dear life, but he's doing very, very well so far. Oh, yeah, look at that! Watch out for these counter attacks. He has a man over here as well. Does O'Neill? Does he cover the player? Oh, oh wow! Goal, he comes out. Such patience, oh. but blocked. Just inside the six-yard box. Oh wow! And that will end the half. That was a crucial moment for O'Neill, not conceding there. His keeper was totally out of position, but one defender still in place to thwart the Spaniard. Otherwise, it would have been one to zero. Earlier on, we've seen big chances as well for Hawker. Do you feel now that he is the favourite to win this match? What, Hawker? Yeah, yeah. Um, Hawker, he's been so, so good. He's been very good on the counter-attack. We haven't really seen the O'Neill that we saw yesterday. Um, he obviously has been performing well today, but yeah. look at the way Hawker uses his Arsenal players. He's just beating a man every now and then, so yeah. he seems the more likely to score at the moment, more likely to win. I think we're just going to have to see how the second half plays out. Yeah, definitely. Almost a big chance there. O'Neill called his eyes just uh, clearing the ball right through the center of his own box with an, uh, with an offensive player there, but still has Hobro on the ball on the other side now, then relieving possession of his playing once again gets to use his man to work up an attack. No, it's not going to happen. That's a good through pass. There we go. Finally won the zero. Both these players have been threatening, and you can see that Eldridge Junior is very, very happy with that. Yeah, the calm down celebration there from O'Neill saying, don't worry, guys. Yeah, I got this. He might be venomous on the counter-attack, but I can still make some things happen myself. That was a, a, a lovely goal. And I won't lie, that's going to uh, stifle the momentum that the Orton was starting to put together. The Spaniard was making some really well-constructed attacks, but this one really might be here for O'Neill. Really well worked, had the ball in the field, nice little one too, and then from then on it's a simple finish, first time, back of the net, one that. Yeah, definitely, he's definitely happy with that. His face is uh, almost annoyed, maybe, but uh, perhaps at uh, the way this match has been going so far, could very well be, but right now he's on the score sheet, and Hawker is going to have to fight back from a deficit. Has he got what it takes? Sabi on the scoreboard. It's a great finish for him, I won't lie. First time yeah. at the near post, might have just... Uh, Caught the Arsenal goalkeeper off guard, and you can see what that will do to the group. Three wins out of three for O'Neill. If it yeah. stays this way, that's what Hawker's going to try and prevent. Yeah, definitely. Hawker still all to play for, even if he loses this one. And so Christopher is in three points as well. But they want to win this one, or maybe even draw it to uh, to get yourself a little bit more of a comfortable position. Also in this group, of course, Christopher from uh, Boa Vista, professional esports player for the Portuguese club. It's not an uh, opponent you want to meet as well. So, tough group, but of course we've only got top players here. Rather unfortunate that uh, Luka Hit isn't here. And also uh, Hassan from Iran. The players we've talked about, visa issues for those two. Uh, well, that doesn't manage to uh, keep the ball, but does get a corner from this third corner of the match for Hawker can he make this one count yeah, 30 minutes left he's going to play it short but you have to think 
next goal, it's such a cliche in football terms, but next goal is so, so important. You yeah. absolutely want to try and even up the, the playing field if you are Hawker. You can still catch O'Neill in this group if you get a win, but look at this counter-attack mounting now for O'Neill. Yeah. Oh, in the middle of this. Quite put the ball through. Very well defending for Hawker, cutting off the supply line. Maitland-Niles on the ball now, probing run. Passes it on to Aubameyang, on to Mkhitaryan, tries to reach Maitland now, it's not going to happen, Hobro on the ball once again, but Olsen Schuef with his first touch there, just uh, leaves it, and then the ball is in possession once again for the Arsenal of Hawker, this is well done, this is very good, but once again, the end product is not there, the ending pass. Maybe one too many there for, for Mkhitaryan, actually had quite a lot of space, maybe could have taken a few touches forward, and yeah. Either invited a defender on, found the open man, or, or taken the shot on himself. So a little bit of nerves coming in, a little bit of uh, complacency. Oh, Here wow. is O'Neill. First time finish again. Will force the corner. Maybe a bit of complacency there for, for Walker at the other end of the pitch. Yeah, definitely. O'Neill looking way more comfortable in the second half as opposed to the first. Maybe it's uh, the confidence from that goal. And now can we can just hang back, play the counter. We've seen the long balls up front with Olsen and running, winning those header duels. The pass coming from midfield as the most forward midfielder. It's working very, very well so far, especially in the one versus one competition. Interesting to see the the four triple two coming in from uh, from Hawker. Uh, more like a, a four four two. With those two players sitting in front of the back four. Would be surprised to see him kind of change that up, and uh, I think that's what he's going to do. Yeah. Realizing the situation, you know, have those uh, have those kind of players push up a little bit further. Have that with one player sitting in front of the back four as opposed to the two. Push that one more player in midfield. Maybe that's where he's seeing the, the, the battle being lost at the moment yeah. in this game. Maybe the midfield Probably, fight yeah. isn't uh, coming off for him. So they shove an extra body in there and try and win some more 50-50s. Yeah, on the other side we see uh, Olsen coming off and Babayan as well. Babayan, the man who just missed that big chance. Well, big chance. It was a difficult angle and the keeper was uh, positioned perfectly, of course, for uh, Hawker. Right now we're going to see the corner for Hobro, Eldridge O'Neill on the ball, Dambrot works it into the box, had a chance but better check is equal to it, then we're going to see the quick kick up field, of course we've only got a little more than 20 minutes to go, and Hawker must be feeling the pressure. Horrible tackle, breaking the uh, cock tape, danger not afforded just yet, Coming on the ball. He's still searching the run for the midfielders, but ignores him. Or was that offside? No, no, no. Just, just barrel. Although that was offside, again, O'Neill just playing some, some really nice football. He's eased into this game despite him yeah. being 1-0. He seems a little bit more comfortable now and, and more resolute in his attacks. Yeah, he's mounting the pressure. Of course, we've seen him uh, do those changes on the 32nd minute. So he realized something was not working well for him. He changed his formation a bit. And the tweaks have done their job. He is uh, way more equal in the rest of the match. And in fact, uh, maybe he's a little dominant, although Hawker is still seeing a lot of the ball. He's still creating chances like this one right here. Can he finish it? Yes, of course he can. Hawker with the equalizer. And this game is very much on. The changes from Hawker absolutely paying off. That was the the change he had to make and you can see the, the use of the manual run right there on the left hand side yeah. really well well played to find that it will be I believe it was on the left hand side the darting run we'll see it in the replays in just a moment but that's the goal he needed and, and with a little time left as well to get himself back in the game great finish but it's all about the run yeah. look at this run on the left hand side absolutely wide open this pass from the middle Look at the space, absolutely acres in this finish, top draw. Yeah, perfect execution right there from the Spaniards. Jorge Carves still very much all to fight for. He could very well still win this one, and that would mean he is very likely to go on. Not certain just yet, because Christopher is in the mix as well. And he might very well still go on to uh, grab six points. Uh, could we see a uh, three-way tie? Looks like Corker actually trying to play a little bit more defensive with these changes. You can see O'Neill pushing his attacking midfielder a little bit further up the pitch as, as opposed to Hawker who's dragged his entire midfield back. So yeah. maybe Hawker just happy with the point here against O'Neill. Maybe he's going to try and play on the counter instead. Well as we, yeah. He maybe expects O'Neill to come forward uh, trying to search for a win. Yeah, he knows the Dutchman will always keep attacking even though uh, he 
would be happy with a point, of course. But still, when you opened up the scoring just after the midway whistle, and now he's got possession. Once again, patiently, like we were all used to seeing do. Midfield formation for Arsenal is working quite well, but still, finally, O'Neill found the gap. Oh, beautiful back heel on the edge of offside, but it wasn't. So there we go. Oh, on the post and out once again. This the time for O'Neill. He had such space again on that left hand side. Great use yeah. of the one two. He's able right. to take it as close to the goal as he likes, and that finish maybe really should have been a goal. Yeah, definitely. But right now, Hawker might punish him for it. He's going to get a slight chance, but doesn't get past the last defender there we go O'Neill on the counter once again he wants to decide this one one point would be enough to make sure he goes on through to the knockout stages because like I said the three-way tie is looming but it's not anymore because right now O'Neill produces the winner and he dances on stage he is so very happy with that oh look at that pressure off for O'Neill if he's still to go out in the group stage he needs to see two goals scored by his opponent in the last minutes. And, of course, also another uh, perfect result for Christopher. So it's not likely that only is not going to place for the knockout round. Celebration. He says it with O'Neill. He knows yeah. that he's done it enough. Eldridge O'Neill up there on the stage. Well, again, another great move. Just waiting for that pass, that killer pass. There it is. And the finish, first time again. Just like his first goal of the game. Definitely. This yeah. one now. Uh, Another great finish. Great moves on and off the field for O'Neill. He is uh, very much entertaining us today. And let's see, we're going to see some more changes on wonder, both I mean, sides. Don't forget, uh, we had Hawker push his uh, midfield players back after yeah. he scored that goal. Maybe that was, invitation. Uh, maybe that was inviting O'Neill to push forward. Yeah, I think yeah. he might be right. Yeah, definitely. Maybe uh, should have kept playing. I feel the way he was, but of course, once again, this is easy for us to say after. Yeah, after the fact, of course, after, after the goal has, has been scored. Again. Yeah, definitely. But right now we're going to see changes on both sides. We're going to see O'Neill push his players back. So uh, doing quite the same. I'm uh, going to try and defend his 2-1 uh, scoreline right now. There's a little bit more possession while uh, starting off. Walker was dominating possession in the first 15 minutes of this game. So we've seen changes on either side multiple times. But right now O'Neill coming out the stronger so far. From Amsterdam, finish it right here. Running on the ball, waiting for his compatriots to help him out. One feet through is not going to happen, of course. Here we go. Ball on the ball. And across, trying to reach running once again. The target man up front, but he doesn't need it. There is.